look at the second FRQ question of the APCSA 2021 exam. So the question over here says that there is a class called single table. These are all the methods that are there inside the class. There's int get num seats. So this is the get num seats method which returns an integer. Get height which again returns an integer. View quality, get view quality returns a double and this is a setter which sets the view quality to the value, whatever is provided as a parameter. And at the restaurant, customers, <coughs> excuse me, customers can sit at tables that are composed of two single tables pushed together. You will write a class combined table. So we have to write the entire class combined table, which is the result of combining two single table objects. So there are two single table objects which may be already created and we have to work with those. Um, a combined table can seat a number of customers that is two fewer than the total number of seats. So if table one has maybe like five seats and table two has four seats, the combined table can seat only five plus four minus two that's only seven seats. Um, and over here, a combined table has a desirability that depends on the views and the heights. So if the tables are of the same height, then the desirability of the combined table is the average <clears throat> of the view qualities. Uh, if they're of different heights, then it's 10 less than the average of the two uh, heights, uh, of the two tables, sorry. So now let's go ahead and see the description of how the combined table class is being used over here. So over here they have given um, a single table objects have been created already T1, T2 and T3 and T1, T2 and T3 over here have uh, T1 has four seats a view quality of 60.0 and 74 uh, T2 has eight seats 70.0 and 74 again and T3 has 12 seats 75.0 and 76 now, a combined table is being created with two single table objects. So this is the constructor of the combined table class. So they have basically they're telling you how to go ahead and create the combined table object. So now the thing is now with this information, just with this much information and with the fact that we know what the single table class is looking like. So the thing is, let's go ahead and create the class combined table. So name is class combined table. I hope my handwriting is uh, visible and is clear, easy to understand. And now the thing is in the combined table class, we are going to make a constructor. Now the thing is now before we make a constructor, now T1 and T2 are the parameters. So T1 and T2 are the single table objects that are there. That means over here, the entire combined table class is going to be doing whatever is represented by the two single table objects. So our data members or instance variables should ideally be just private over here. Uh, private, remember instance variables are kept private for object oriented programming principles. So they are single table, uh, single table. I'm going to call the data members as table one and table two. These are our two instance variables that are there. Now we're going to go ahead and make the constructor. So over here, this is the constructor public over here. So combine table over here, combine table. And there are two parameters it's taking. The parameters are of single table. So I'm going to call it single table. Uh, I'm going to call it tab one as the name of the parameter. And the other one again, single table. And I'm going to call it tab two as the parameter. So now the thing is over here, this is the constructor. And since this constructor is simply going to do nothing else, but a table one is equal to tab one and table two is equal to tab two. That's all, nothing else. That's it. So this is our constructor. That's the first part of the class done. Now let's go ahead and see the other method. The next method is scan seat and they have called it twice with two different 
parameters, integer parameters. The first one is returning a true and the second example is returning a false. Now that means since it's returning true or false, that means over here the method, uh, the name of the method is can see it and it takes an integer as a parameter. So this is, it's asking about how many people it's trying to see it. So I'm going to call it int number as a parameter. And it's, since it's returning a true or false, that means the return type of this method is going to be a Boolean. So this is what it's going to do. And the thing is simply what this is going to do is over here. Now it has to understand whether you can seat nine people or you can seat 11 people or not. Now the rule for that is we saw earlier on over here, it's written over here is it's too fewer than the total number of seats in the two single tables. So coming back over here. So the thing is what in the case over here is nine. T1 has four seats, T2 has 12, uh, eight, sorry. So four plus eight is 12, 12 minus two is 10. And since nine is less than 10, less than or equal to 10, um, that's why it's returning true. In this case, 11 is not less than or equal to 10. That's why it's returning false. So basically the two single table objects that we have two less than that, uh, if that's more than or equal to the number, then that is it, then it should return true. So I will simply go ahead, we can simply write like this return. Uh, our instance variables are table one and table two. So I'm going to simply say table one. Now to get the number of seats, the method is get num seats. We can do table one dot get num seats. Plus table two dot get num seats minus two if that is greater than or equal to number please note that this expression is going to return a boolean it's one line so over here if it's if it is greater than or equal to number then you'll get a true otherwise you'll get a false so that's the can seat uh, method for us the next method that we have is the get desirability. So now this is a method. Now, if you see the value returned by it is with a, with a decimal point or a fractional number. So that means over here, so it will be again a public method, public, and it returns over here is a double, uh, and it is get desirability. no parameters over here in this particular method. Now the I'm closing the method here and I'm closing the class here. There's nothing else that's there in this class. So now the thing is that the get desirability method over here, C one's two single tables, T one and T two are of the same height. Since they are of the, sorry, they are the same height, 74 and 74. And since they are the same height, we will give the average of the view qualities over here. So the thing is first we need to check if the table one and table two are of the same height or not. So we simply say if table one uh, dot. Now the method to get the height is get height table one dot get height. Okay. Is equal to equal to table two dot get height. If the heights are the same, then simply I return, I return. What am I going to return? I'm going to return the average of the views. So there is a method to get the view quality. So I'm going to say return table one dot get view quality. Plus table two dot get view quality and divide that by two. That's how we calculate the average. Okay. Um, else what am I going to return? Else I'm going to return uh, 10 less than the average of the two qualities over here. And that's the thing over here that's written over here. If you go back, it's written 10 units less than the average of the two qualities. So I'm going to say else return again the same thing. T1 
table one dot get view quality plus table two dot get view quality and divide that by two Let's close the bracket over here divide by two and minus 10. Okay. all right so yeah that is pretty much it now let's verify our answer with the other example that they have given so they have taken a combined table c2 which is composed of t2 and t3 now t2 has eight seats t3 has 12 seats can it seat 18 yes it can seat 18 because 8 plus 12 is 20 18 is less than or equal to 20 um so 18 is less than or equal to 18 20 minus 2 18 so that's uh, that is absolutely correct get desirability now the thing is over here they are of different they are of different heights so we are going to give the average of that minus 10 so that's that's 72.5 minus 10 is 62.5 now this is a very important thing so now the t2's view quality has been changed to 80 now the thing is since t2's view quality has been changed to 80 now when i do c2 dot get desirability again now t2 has changed so if the t2 has changed in c2 whatever was table one please note that's table one was the first parameter over here so table one so t2's reference is going to go in table one so for the c2 object again i repeat for the c2 object for table one now if i call get desirability again now since the height is different i am going to come over here but now this time this get view quality won't be giving us over here it won't be giving 70 but it would be giving us 80 now because we change it to 80 over here so that's why it will be 80 plus 75 that is 77.5 the whole divide by 2 will give you 77.5 minus 10 is 67.5 now this example over here is critical in telling us that the data member should be the table references over here and not the double values of the view qualities or the number of seats reason is if we change the references outside the class and if we call it again then the dis get desirability information should automatically get updated and since whenever we work with objects the other references that's how the thing will automatically start working properly because it's the reference that we are working with and that's calling the appropriate methods and that will get us the ap appropriate values of each of the members that is there in the class so yeah that's pretty much it in this particular question and a quick run through of what can be the mark distribution writing the class name will be one mark i feel uh, the instance variables will be one mark writing the constructor signature will be one mark writing the body of the constructor would be one mark writing the method uh, signature will be one mark what is to be returned is one mark getting the desirability method will be one mark and filling this method would be probably two marks over here uh, maybe comparing the height might be one mark and returning the appropriate value might be one mark so that's how the value could be that's how the mark could be distributed and that's question two thank you